it going, YouTube? Nick Novak back for another video on the Hidden Spring Ranch YouTube channel. As you guys seen, the protein tub, trying to make it not look nice, did not happen. And they kept falling off. They weren't tied together when I got them, so whatever. They'll work when I need to get them, I'll get them. But next, what we're gonna do is run to the big pasture, grab the hay trailer um, for those cows, refill some alfalfa and brome hay for them. And then we'll put some hay out for the bread, the first calf heifers here at the house. Um, and then I do a little bit of work around the house, skid steer work, working on the road and whatnot. So bring you guys along. We'll do a little time lapse here. I'm going to the pasture again, and then we'll catch up with you when we get there. out of the pasture you have to kind of haul but because the cows chase you so we'll close this gate run back to the house fill her up and bring her back well as we're driving back here I figured I'd give you guys a weather update the last 20 days have been a dream lows of like 20 and highs of 60 I mean, it's been absolutely insane. Last week, we got an inch and a half of rain. Green grass started growing last week. I'm just like, wow. I hope this isn't the fall spring, and then in a month, we get a lot of snow and a lot of cold. Hopefully, that's not the case. Hopefully, it stays kind of like this. The 14-day forecast is, is the same thing. No snow, it says. And uh, so, I'll tell you this. I am not complaining at all. But anyways, just figured I'd give you guys a little weather update. We're heading back to the ranch now. Catch up with you when we get there. All right, so we got her full. Got a new brome bale, a new alfalfa bale. So these sedan bales that they're not really chewing on a lot, um, they'd rather eat that CRP grass out there and the, this this sedan there was probably 15 rolls that got uh, rained on so it isn't the best it's more so filler so if they don't eat it whatever i'll leave it in there and if they get hungry enough they'll eat it but anyways we'll uh take this to the pasture cut that net wrap off make sure we turn the water off and then we will uh come back here feed a brome bale to these first calf heifers. Cows are on their way over here. I like to put this uh, hay feeder in different spots so they're not just tearing up one specific piece of ground all the time. And since there's no rain or anything in the forecast, I put it here on the far south side of the pasture where they don't spend much time. Um, I did that just so 
they're kind of utilizing the grass more um, as filler. So we'll get this net wrap cut real quick. Got all that net wrap off. As you can probably tell, you can't get all of it, which kind of stinks. But once they finish all the feed and everything, it's easy just to pull it off because it just sits there on the bottom. As you can tell, they're gonna swarm it because they've never had it before. They think it's something brand spanking new. Try to shoot them to the other side a little bit. Yeah, they uh, think something's crazy going on. Anyways, we'll run over to the water, make sure it's not running over, and uh, then we'll head back to the house. I just shut the water off. So pull it overflow just a little bit, which is all right. All these little ones are getting their drink here. That's a really nice heifer calf right here. Anyways, let's head back to the house and uh, get a bail out for those first calf heifers. Well, those cows got their brome hay. They should be happy. I usually just been giving them a flake or two at a time, but uh, feeling generous today. Anyways, I think before we wrap up this video, I'll show you guys me getting those bottle calves out of the barn. Give you guys a little tour of them, and then uh, we'll probably end it there. So, meet you guys at the barn. Where the bottle caps are at. So I've done some reconstructing of the pens. Um, gave the weaned calves, which they're not weaned yet. They'll be weaned in two more days. I've been giving them one bottle a day. But what, what I'll do is get these guys and gals out, put them in their pen, and then kind of give you guys a little walkthrough of what we do. Come on, big boy. Okay, I got him out. We'll walk him over here to his spot. I've been putting him in this little second spot. So kind of what I decided to do, I only had three pins out here, but I'm gonna try to get a few more caps. So I ended up putting one more. Come on, big boy. He hasn't quite figured out um, what he's supposed to do. So he's in that pin right there. We'll go grab the other two and uh, get them out here. This little calf here usually always follows me. We'll see if she does it today. She's been here just a little bit longer than the rest. I got her, geez, maybe. Let her out here. She's usually pretty frisky. Little heifer calf, I got her about two hours away. I'm just a guy online. Come on, let's go. 
Okay, she's in her pen. Sorry guys, usually it works better when they follow you. They must be camera shy because every other time they always follow me. But anyways, we'll grab this last little heifer. I got her from the same place that that cow prolapsed at. She was a twin that same day. And she's very small, so I just carry her out. So there you have it, folks. Little heifer calf, bull calf, heifer calf. I try to put them outside every day. Um, if it's gonna be cold, I don't. There's no reason to. Um, sunlight's important for them. But when it's super cold and it's cloudy and it's freezing, there's no reason to do it. But when it's sunny out like this, really no clouds, I take full advantage of it. Um, usually I try to leave one of them out here in this big pen, let them run around. I used to do that before I put them away. But show you this wean calf pen real quick. I made a little windbreak for them facing the north and the west. Well, that ain't good. I must have left this gate open. I'm lucky those calves didn't get out and uh, go intermingle with the big herd. Sorry, I'm jogging you around, tying her up right there. But yeah, I made this little windbreak for them just because I don't bring them inside. If it's gonna snow or something like that, I'll bring them inside. But other than that, these calves are fending for themselves. They're probably close to 60 days old really healthy calves and so like i said on wednesday which is in two days will be their last bottle they'll ever get um i've been giving them just one bottle the last two days so i'm gonna do that about five days and then go ahead and wean them off so there's the calves appreciate you guys watching if you guys uh, want any video in specific, day in the life, bottle calf ranching, let me know. I, uh, I'm open to it. So appreciate you guys. Give me a like and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.